name is Michael Prue, member of Provincial Parliament for the Riding of Beaches East York, and a leadership candidate for the NDP. But more importantly, I'm running to be Premier of this province. I have a tough question to ask all of you. Do you believe that the NDP, as it's constituted today, is ready for government? Are we ready, in terms of the next election, of having candidates in the field? Are we ready in terms of financing? Are we ready with the right policies to be able to defeat the Liberals and Conservatives? I know when I ask myself that question, the answer is no. And that's why I'm running to be leader. We know that 70% of the people of this province believe in exactly the same things as New Democrats believe in. We know from polling that they believe in having a good education system for their children. We know from polling that they believe uh, in, in health care, the issues that New Democrats talk so much about, about poverty and the environment. And yet they don't vote for us because in their heart of hearts, they don't believe we're ready to government. They either believe that we can't win, and so they don't vote for us, or in some cases, that we're not uh, capable of managing the economy. And that's why I am the candidate, and that's why I am seeking your support. I have successfully led a government in this province, and I have successfully managed an economy. Back in the 1990s, uh, as a municipal mayor, I, I did both, and I think to very great acclaim. I believe in, in the principle uh, that cities power regions. And in order to do this, I want to give cities powers and authorities they, not do, they, they do not today have. One of those powers and authorities would be by abolishing, for the majority of cases and for larger cities, the Ontario Municipal Board to free up cities to make the decisions that they, they need to make in order to manage their own affairs. Secondly, I would give cities and, and, uh, and towns across this province uh, of, of greater than 50,000 population in size the same powers and authorities that have been vested in the City of Toronto under the City of Toronto Act so that they can make the key decisions on, uh, on their municipalities uh, to free them up for economic development. And third, and I think very importantly, I would change the way municipalities are financed. The property tax system in Ontario is regressive. The property, we, we in Ontario pay the highest property taxes of any jurisdiction in the entire world. We need to change the city's reliance on those property taxes to give them a portion of the municipal sales tax as they do in the United States or a portion of the income tax as they do in most of Europe. I also know that we need to change very much how our party is governed uh, so that we can be ready for the next election. And I have a six-point plan. The first plan involves allowing the local riding associations to keep a far greater share of those funds that they go day-to-day uh, -to, -day to collect uh, from their individual uh, riding, as riding associations. They need to be able to keep that money. Secondly, I would allow and give $10,000 to each riding association across Ontario to be ready for the next election. $10,000 from the general fund to, uh, to hire organizers, uh, the money to uh, have affirmative action candidates, the money for literature, the money for signs, whatever they think is necessary, so that they too can be election ready, so that we can be successful in running candidates in all 107 writings. Obama taught us not to cede, he, he, to, he would not cede a single state to the Republicans. We as New Democrats should not cede a single right to either the Liberals or the Conservatives. Thirdly, I think we need to do something for our youth. Our youth have not been well treated by the NDP. We have not given money to our youth wings, we have not given them opportunities or campus clubs, we have not given them the opportunity of internships that the other parties have done so well. We need to do that if we are to have a strong, vibrant, and forward-thinking party. Fourthly, I would involve people uh, who have not traditionally voted for us in the past, new immigrants, new Canadians, uh, people who traditionally have not voted for us, to bring them into the party, to show them that their future is with us, and to allow them to bring forward their concerns and their ideas and have them adopted as policy. Fifthly, and most importantly, uh, we need to democratize the party so that those new ideas that, that are brought forward are openly debated and that we can have a cutting, we can be on the cutting edge of some of the newest ideas so that people will see us as progressive and forward thinking. Sixth, and, and certainly not least, is to bring the unions back into the fold. 
When the NDP was created in 1961, it was created as, as an organization with much union support. Some of that has fallen off over the years, and I'm particularly thinking about the CAW, the Canadian Auto Workers, and I have reached out to them and have offered an opportunity for them to rejoin the party because I believe together we are both stronger united than we are separated. And we need to, what we do for the CAW, to all of the other unions who have either left or who have never joined us in the first place. Having said that, I want to say that uh, I believe that I am the candidate to lead the NDP. And if you only remember three things, remember first that cities power regions. The second thing is that I will modernize this party and give it the tools necessary uh, to reach out to the vast majority of voters who actually aspire to government. And third is that I am eminently electable, having been a mayor, having been so successful as a politician over all of these years, to bring in these new and disparate factions into the NDP. I believe that we can win in ridings we have never won before so that we can have results we've never had before.